Uh, we also have this new uh, content called Unleash Potential. So basically what it does is um, with three stars and four stars, not five stars, four stars and below, you get to upgrade your uh, heroes. Okay. Um, my bad. Um, sometimes it will upgrade your passive. Also, it will upgrade your skill one, referring as not auto attack, skill one, and also skill two. Not only that, it will also give you an um, attack speed boost, defense, and HP, and attack as well, and combat power as well. So let's go on to details. First, uh, you need to um, pay 300 to open the Unleash Potential. But the problem is, I thought this was a one-time offer, like core sharing, where you have to offer 200 gems and that's it. But not in here. Each character is individual. If you buy it here, you will still have you will still have to buy it on other characters. So um, you it's very I highly recommend not to do this yet. Um, but if you are to do it, if you are to do it, I um, I can suggest you like a couple for uh, uh, as a starter. I would definitely recommend that Deva and um, Brooke and Kirina. Kirina is now available with the, the new hero battle. So do make sure to get Kirina. Kirina so far was the number one damage dealer when it comes to um, Chaos Dragon, referring as non-element dragons. Some of you guys will that will be Friday, Saturday. Some of you guys will be that that will be Saturday and Sunday. Dealing a ton more damage to Chaos Dragon, referring as those two days. But but with the new um, reworked on FC Deva, FC Deva now deals two times more uh, damage when it crits. So when let's say Deva dealt 200 damage when it crits, now it will be dealing 400 damage as long as it crits. So um, and Deva's skill that deals 420, um, it's also gonna get buffed. It will cost you 500 mana, but then it will be dealing 700 percentile damage if if my memory serves correctly. For, meaning that's basically 1400 damage, with that doubles the crit um, damage. If you um, think about it, so I think Deva can FC Deva can actually um, push Kirina away and become number one damage dealer. Not sure I have to do the math um, when 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 I get the FC Deva, but um, so closing closing in. So far, Kirina was number one, but um, Deva FC Deva and FC Brook are just as good. So if you have those three, then you can use all of those three as well on your team for the uh, Chaos Dragon on non-element day. So I recommend these three as as well for your um, oops, for your uh, unleash potential. In here, um, uh, for let's let's um, let's make some example for Deva. Because when you equip when you equip Fate Core, whether it being orange, blue, black or um golden, you, you will lose the buffs on your skills. Um, whatever what it, whatever you did here you you will lose it but but you will still get those extra attack you will keep your attack speed you will keep your attack uh on your hero what well, doesn't matter if it's a fate core equipped or not okay so on um, although you lose it although you lose it uh it don't really matter much because all you are getting is um is what's important is for you to get that extra attack speed and that extra attack and that extra survivability you know health um, increase and defense increase as well right now combat power re really means nothing when it comes to dragon fight so um unfortunately we, we don't really do much with these so yeah getting those um perks done are, are important if you uh, were to focus on four stars um same goes for kirina but the good thing about kirina is because kirina doesn't have fate core all over um all of her uh skill improvement will be kept like here it's we're supposed to be 840 percentile damage but now it will be dealing a thousand and fifty percentile damage output with the upgrade okay so, so it's actually not bad to um if you have kirina it's actually not bad for you to uh use her on your um uh on on you as well um and, and so far yes four star only have very limited uh very limited skill trees or um, uh, potential trees. But when it comes to three stars like Gale, you get to choose a lot more here. 
Of course, same goes for here. If you have Fate Core Gale, your skills will not be improved, just um, as it says here. It's, it will it, it will be ignored. But the stats are gonna be um, count, um, counted. So um, getting those combat power, as I say, it's not really worth it. But it's that, um, you know, uh, it's that uh, stat, basically. Stats are all, um, all about it, you know. You get those extra stats, extra attack speed, and extra attack health. So so good, very very good tools for you to uh, for you to buff your uh, buff your heroes, uh, especially if it's three star. So um, maybe I don't recommend Gale because you know it's not really um, practical. But if you guys have started the game with FC Zion, you know how strong Zion can be. So actually, it can be really um, good for Zion. And I do recommend on Kaya as well, Kaya and Iris. Um, but Kaya and Iris are not really uh, significant in comparison to in comparison to Zion, right? So if you have Zion, please focus here. If you don't have Zion, just don't even bother looking at three stars yet. Let's just just focus on your four star one, whoever you have amongst those three. Okay, there may be some other good candidates, but I just cannot think of it. Uh, think of it yet. Annie can be good as well because you know with uh, with the recent Annie um, Fate Core. It's always good to have your extra survivability for the Annie as well. Quotes can be good on the four stars. Right now, I don't really, uh, I don't really think anyone is is off the ball, um, except for those uh, weekend dragon raid dealers, Adams, Adams. Um, like I say, because they have fate core. Because Adams have a fate core. Not really. Not really. I mean, if you don't have faith, if you don't have faith, or, or basically, if you have a waifu on your four star, if you have a husbando on your four star, go for that. If you have a waifu on your three star or a husbando on your three star, go for that. You know, I won't be stopping you. No. Basically, it's it's a, in a way for you to buff your favorite character. Okay. So since my favorite character is Gale, I only have a uh, four hundred chest, but guess what? That's how dedicated I am to Gale. All right. That's how dedicated I am. Unfortunately, I don't have the, I don't have the solar seals to um, unlock anything yet. But I'll be doing it. I'll be fully, fully unlock it. All right. That's that's that just so shows my um, dedication towards him. Okay. Um. And yes, how do you get these? If you see the mark, actually, it's um, emerald circle. Um. You get the emerald circle on oh. Okay, so let's go back a little bit. So some characters will require um, Emerald. Some character like uh, Godin will require... Let's compare with uh, Liffy. Liffy will require uh, the Hawk. Um, Skyhawk. Um, and each um, character dif uh, differs by by where they are from. So Iris is from North Von Frosty, so I'm thinking um, Iris will be requiring the uh, the Frosty Shard. Yeah, Ice Crystal. Uh, so how, where do you and how do you get it? Basically, um, you get it by exploration or smart exploration. This doesn't really matter. If you do your exploration on North Von Frosty, you will be getting that Frost uh, Crystal. If you move around, uh, I think it's a dock where you can move around. If you go Greenland, which is where I should be going because Greenland is the one that gives us the um, Emerald. Uh, I think it shows here. Um, yep, right here, Emerald. So I need a lot of Emerald uh, Circle for me to empower or uh, unleash potential for the Gale. Okay. You will be getting exact same um, reward as you... Um, it, this just depends on how far you have pushed the story. If you cleared all chapter 10, then you are to get the maximum exploration out. Okay, This world like this, we, um, back then it was story locked. Meaning, if you farm from here, doesn't matter if you clear chapter 10 or not, you'll be getting shitty, shitty rewards. And if you farm on green, um, on the East Taurus, which is you know the one with the Bay Barra fight, you will also get a less shitty um, reward out of the exploration. But with the new patch, it's just you you will get the same exploration reward. It's just based on how far you have pushed your stories. Alright? Very important to know. 
So come back here or come back anywhere that you have to go. Just click dock and then go wherever wherever you need to go. Um, regarding on those those uh, uh, special items that, that you need to collect. So Kirina, I'm pretty sure Kirina is a north form frosty. So does Brook. Maybe Brook is wasteland, wasted uh, red. Like I'm not even sure uh, of those. You guys just have to check out your own and then see who you want to focus or, or, or invest. And it's also a very good tool to understand where those characters are from. So it's a better way to understand the forest at least. And um, uh, that's it. Oh, but uh, one extra one extra uh, tip. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it. It passed by briefly. But if you actually check my inventory, I have about 600 uh, ice crystal. Some of you may have some ice crystals. And that's because that's only because um, we have been smart explorationing during the patch. So the patch was going on, but my exploration was technically there even during the patch. So when the patch ended, I actually gained. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Where did it go? Oh, it doesn't show on my backpack. I thought it shows on the backpack. Never mind. Let me show you on here. <clears throat> so you actually uh, were farming those. Um, oops. Hold on. Let me show you the iris. So it's really important. If, if you know that there is a maintenance incoming, please start. Uh, please put like a thousand. Put like a thousand Levi stone and then just do a smart exploration. And by the time this uh, thing is over, you get like 700 or 500 or 400. Like whenever the new patch comes out, you get like the bonus that were you, that you were supposed to be getting on the new patch. Like you know, it just opened, and I never did I never did exploration at all after the patch. But I already have 700. That's all because I invested 1,800 Levi stone before the patch, and I fell asleep. I woke up, and bam, it's just there. Freely given because all I did was um, do X smart exploration before the patch started and then open the game after the patch. So that was a, a slight tip. Maybe most of you guys may uh, be aware, but um, those who haven't, please use those smart exploration system wisely. I mean, I do it every day. I just don't put 1800 device on every day, you know? I do it whenever there is a, a, a big update so that whenever the new features that comes online, I can get those farmed up. So um, that's rather brief or long um, explanations for or reviews for Unleash Potential.